Good morning, everybody. Low Wolf Rick here. And it is a Wednesday morning here on the Las Vegas Strip. What's today? January the 18th. Years flying by. Currently 41 degrees here on the Strip. They're looking for a high of about 51 today. And uh, this, uh, this 41 degrees will be about the... Uh, the warmest it'll be for a little while anyway as uh, the temperatures kind of dip again uh, to where they're looking at temperatures around the freezing mark uh, uh, for the next few days here for a low so uh, it's going to get cold here in Vegas colder in fact tomorrow the high is supposed to be about 47 degrees so and out of nowhere they decided to add a little rain to the forecast again also uh, that just kind of stuck in there today so Another little front moving through. I guess it's like that'll drop the temperatures down a little bit more. So um, that's what's going on here on the Strip. That's the weather watch. It's like they, the, uh, up at Mount Charleston and Lee Canyon, it's like they're getting a lot of snow or they had a lot of snow up there. In fact, the roads were closed for a while. Uh, the treacherous driving conditions, but uh, uh, I think they're open back up now, but they are requiring or recommending chains it's like uh, through the canyon area, so uh, it's been a uh, it's been you know kind of an okay winter to be honest with you, uh, not too bad. You know, getting a little bit of rain, and uh, more importantly, the uh, Colorado Rocky Mountains. It's like it's getting a lot of snow and and rain and stuff in that area, which is uh, feeding the Colorado River, uh, which is uh, pushing the water down here towards Lake Mead. So. I think Lake Mead has got up, uh, uh, I saw something the other day, like a couple of tenths of an inch of, uh, of, of height, so <laughs> it's, uh, at least it's a little bit, a uh, little bit better than nothing, right? But, uh, you know, the snow caps, once they start melting and everything, it's like it'll really start, uh, you know, the river start pushing that water through, and uh, we'll see it in, where it ends up here about in March or April. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Today's a really nice day. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. It's uh, uh, just a really, really nice, uh, nice day. Yesterday got really windy. In fact, I tried to do a couple of videos in the afternoon, and the wind was just so bad that I just uh, kind of gave up on those projects, at least for uh, for now, anyway. So it was just uh, too windy, and the uh, speak of the sounds really, really bad. So. So today, it's like, as you can see, I kind of took a different path here uh, going down the strip. So we're walking behind here over my left. It's the uh, Showcase Mall. And uh, over here on the right is those uh, uh, signature uh, mansion rooms over here at the uh, MGM. Is that nice? Uh, it's very nice. But this area back here, it's like uh, there's a lot of dumpsters and stuff back here. So uh, you can kind of, uh, I mean, even at this colder temperature, you can smell it. So I imagine what it kind of smells like here in the uh, in the summertime. But it looks like they're doing a little bit of, uh, not construction work, but it looks like they're doing a little bit of uh, uh, work back here. Uh, uh, they got a floor tore out of one of those uh, little bays in there for the uh, delivery trucks. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I had never been back here before. And I actually walked back here the other day and I said, you know what? It's like, I'll show everybody what this looks like back here. Uh, since, you know, I had never been back here before. And I'm sure most people just kind of walked the front and they'd never even think about back here. There's a... A little Bentley, Bentley right there. Either a Bentley or a Rolls, one or the other. I guess that's how the cars roll back here when you're uh, back here at the Batchet area, huh? Air gas tanks, huh? Yeah, so anyway, it's just... Uh, uh, nice morning as for the hump day of the week here and uh, I saw some new numbers on the uh, uh, New Year's Eve where now they're projecting that they're, 
uh, looking at maybe there was 400 people here in Vegas uh, for that event. So I think that would come close to maybe one of the all-time highs. Uh, usually it averages between right around 300,000 and usually from 300,000 to 350,000. But they're estimating now it's like there was over 400,000 uh, people here on the Strip uh, for this uh, New Year's Eve this year. So uh, pretty interesting that those numbers would be that high. Also, they released some numbers for the uh, NFR Rodeo, and uh, those numbers were up over last year also, uh, just by a little bit, by about four or 5,000 people. But still, it uh, uh, shows maybe some of those uh, uh, numbers are coming back a little bit. Uh, also, the uh, CES show, uh, they estimate 120,000 people uh, attended that show this year here, so the Consumer Electronics Show. And that's up from last year where it was just, I think, a, a tick under 100,000 people. Uh, so, but it, that one still has a way to go because we're pre-pandemic, that show was drawn about 160 to 180,000 people. So, it, uh, but it shows the numbers were coming back. It shows uh, hopefully that uh, uh, people might be getting out and about. It looks like uh, maybe... You know, a glimmer of hope perhaps it's like that the uh, uh, economy's getting a little bit better I know gasoline prices uh, are dropping a little bit hopefully where you live it's like they're dropping a little bit also to help the pocketbook out a little bit and uh, you know they were showing that uh, but for last month it's like the consumer index it's like it did go up again it was up it's like six and a half percent but uh, it didn't go up as fast as it had been. They like said for the year, it's like uh, uh, last year it averaged about 8.7%, uh, which is, uh, you know, what everybody got if you were retired. That was the Social Security increase. Uh, so 6.5%. Uh, it looks like maybe there's a glimmer of hope that it's improving, hopefully. So we'll just see how it's like uh, everything plays out here over the next few months. As we'll just uh, wrap this up here. It's like on this little walk here this morning. I'm Lone Wolf Rick. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, to everybody who watches our videos and uh, uh, has subscribed, thank you very, very much for watching and, and uh, supporting our channel. We greatly appreciate it, everybody. All right, so we're coming to the end of the line here. And I appreciate it. Everybody take care, okay? And I'll see you all in the next video. Hey, bye-bye, everybody.